Hey, what is up everyone? It's OP here. I hope you've been having a good week. Unfortunately, as some of you may have seen over the weekend, my PC decided to die, which made it just a little bit harder to get some content out for you guys. Obviously, you're watching this now, which means things are on the mend. Uh, it has just put me back a little bit, unfortunately. And even then, before then, the last couple of weeks, I've managed to be focusing on getting content done for you guys. And this has meant that I've not been able to get out of the house much other than get more supplies so I can continue to edit. So this week, I'm going to be talking a bit more about some of the stuff that I've been watching my downtime. And there's been a whole host of awesome documentaries, films, TV shows uh, that I'm absolutely dying to share with you guys. So let's get into it. First up is a documentary that pretty much everyone on my friends list has been sharing the absolute hell out of. It's Vice's documentary on how to become the number one fake restaurant on TripAdvisor. This video has had over 30 million views since it was posted just a week ago. And it's had everyone in here laughing their ass off, including myself. You two are down here. The Shed is the number one rated restaurant in London. You've got every foodie, celebrity, and blogger in the city trying to get a table. But the problem is, until now, it didn't exist. There was DJ Sambience, who was literally just playing the sound of a restaurant and had a trigger pad for a microwave ding. Because we want it to be like a real restaurant, so it's got to sound like one, hasn't it? Okay. We've got the visual, okay. sound. I'd really hate drop, to look stupid when doing this. If the guy who orchestrated this whole prank is watching this right now, all I can say is, mate, seriously, kudos to you. Uh, you deserve a medal, because you have just basically trolled the entire internet and the world, and that is a really amazing feat. So, massive congratulations for... The, the absolute sheer balls to pull this off and follow through with it. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, literally mind blown. Mind blown. So everyone else that's watching this right now and you're probably thinking, so what does this mean for review scores? Because we rely so heavily on review scores these days. Well, in terms of TripAdvisor and restaurants, it means that, you know, everywhere's pretty good. It's more about the company you're keeping more than the food that you're eating. So you know what? Go out to somewhere with your mates and have a good time. And that's what it's about. So last week I saw a really crazy post from CS that someone shared, which showed what looked like a bunch of prototype robots and you could have your personality downloaded into a small plate and inserted into these robots so you could essentially live forever. And yeah, when you see stuff like this, uh, it sent my black mirror sense tingling like completely off the scale. These robots are called sleeves, is what they're referring to, and you had a bunch of presentations from people that were involved in the company. When I saw this, it kind of looked legit, but also kind of just like, there's not something quite right about this. Even my mate Darren Dyke was posting a selfie in front of these things, so you're just like, well, are these things, like, how far away is this technology? Is this really legit or am I being trolled here? Turns out they are actually part of a viral marketing campaign for a new series called Alton Carbon, which is coming out on Netflix in the early part of February. Obviously after seeing this, it piqued my interest and I checked out the trailer for Alton Carbon and all I can say is, wow, it is just like, someone went into my brain and made a TV series like just for me. And um, I'm pretty sure you guys would be into it as well. Your body is not who you are. You shed it like a snake sheds its skin. You transfer the human consciousness between bodies to live eternal life. How long have I been down? 250 years. After seeing the gorgeous trailer for this, it absolutely looks up my street. Uh, it almost looks like Blade Runner 2049 had a fever dream and this was the Netflix series that came out of it, uh, which I am totally on board with. There's more here than you're willing to see. Film recommendations, I recently saw The Belko Experiment, which, as the poster suggests, is kind of a mashup between The Office and Battle Royale. Stage one, commence. Like his head exploded from the inside. What? When we start working here, they put tracers in the back of our heads. You must not remove the tag from your body. Follow our directives, or we will detonate the explosive. In two minutes, we want 30 of you dead. If 30 of you are not dead, we will end 60 of your lives ourselves. 
And then office related violence, I also saw the film Mayhem recently. And it's kind of like 28 days later, if it just happened to involve just one tower block, but it's actually really well put together. And it's kind of a nice blend between comedy and violence, which is kind of my favorite thing. Say hello to the ID7 virus. Stress hormone levels rise, causing inhibitions to drop, and basic instincts to rise to the surface. All traces of the virus should be eliminated in approximately eight hours. What are we supposed to do for the next eight hours? Try to remain calm. Hey, extreme measures, right? This is our shot. I'm offering 150 grand for Cho's head. We're talking about murder here. You should be offering at least 450. And as a throwback to a film that came out in 2014, I recently got pointed to this film called These Final Hours, which is essentially a film about the end of the world and how one man chooses to spend his last few hours as an asteroid has hit the Earth and is causing a massive shockwave to go around the entire world, completely wiping all life as we know it. I have a real fascination with human drama and how we would handle these situations if the end of the world was to come and we only had a few hours left to survive. How come you're not with her? I've messed a lot of things up, Grace. Still I just hope you're all keeping safe out there. You're surrounded by your families. Hold on. Hold on, Rose. It's coming. Seeing the world through the protagonist's point of view is really fascinating because you get to see a little cross-section of just how quickly our world would crumble once there is no more world to be a part of. Uh, so I'd highly, highly recommend checking it out if you're even just a little bit interested. And last up this week, I wanted to talk about the artist MDK. I recently discovered his page when he was posting his new design for his clothing range for the scrapyard at Boomtown this year and it absolutely piqued my interest. And looking at his Instagram and the rest of his Facebook page, uh, I was absolutely blown away with some of the stuff that he's got on there. He's got a very graphic, bold, but intricate sort of style, so it's definitely worth checking out. If you wanna check out his Facebook or Instagram or anything else that I've been talking about today, I'll post all the links in the description below. And that's just gonna about do it for this week, you guys. Remember, if you like what I do here, hit that like button. Uh, if you've seen any of the films that I've talked about and you wanna let me know if they're any good or not, or if you have anything that you would recommend seeing that I should check out, uh, let me know. I'm always up for watching more films in my downtime uh, when I can, because uh, God knows I need some more of that. <laughs> I also just recently released two yeah. wallpaper packs for my Patreon as well as a reward yeah. for the lower tiers on there. So if you want to get some really high quality images for your PC or your phone, just check out my Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash realflix and check out the reward tiers down there. Remember, as always, if you like what I do here, hit that like button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Much love to all of you and I will see you next time. So let's just... <laughs> That's healthy. <coughs> Lovely fresh air. I'll post all the description. All the description. <laughs> yeah, I'll post all the description and in the links. Oh, I can't even get to the end of this better. <laughs>